The law of supply and demand is pretty straightforward. Demand goes down, price goes down. Gold sells off, price goes down. At least, that's what you'd assume. Okay, so let's start this over. Camera died right when I was on a roll. I was talking about what's going on with the price of gold. I think it's worth looking at for at least a minute because the sentiment for gold is bearish in a lot of ways. We've already talked about the retail sentiment being a little bit negative. Some of those videos that are out there, same thing. YouTube thinks that everybody is down on gold and silver right now. Well, you take that context into a price chart for gold and things don't match up. And gold price is currently running above the 20 day, the 50 day, the 100 day, and even the 200 day moving averages. And that doesn't seem bearish at all. So what's going on? Before we get back to it, if you're looking for precious metals, hit up SD Bullion. New customers even get gold and silver for spot. That's sdbullion.com slash new. So one of the things that I've mentioned here a few times is that the conflict in the Middle East spiked the price of gold. We all know that it's a matter of fact. Now the part that got missed though is that a spike like that will normally wear off in a few months. We saw that happen with the Ukraine invasion. Basically, the conflict didn't die down, but the surprise of it did. So the more news you get, the more the crisis hedge sells off. So you buy the rumor, you sell the news. It's a similar case. Well, that sell-off should have happened last December. Now you would expect the price correction. I mean, I expected a price correction, and that was a trend for about a minute and that's until we got this hope rally that hope rally based on a much sooner pivot in fed policy than previously imagined a hope because it was only based off assumptions but that didn't matter perception is what mattered so two months into the rally that was based on this idea that the fed would begin cutting rates in march we see that that probably isn't going to happen and now we're looking at may so after yesterday's fed comments that more or less said that we're not going to get anything in March, well, we could expect a sell-off in a corresponding drop in gold price. That again isn't happening. Price is actually headed up. So where's the expectation of prices going down coming from? Maybe you're asking that. Well, if we looked at ETF trading activity, you're going to see big outflows in GLD. You would think that that would mean the price is going to go down. And when I say big outflows, I'm talking about a $15 billion net outflow in 2023 alone. So we're seeing a sell-off and we've definitely been feeling that negative sentiment that I just mentioned. So that's where the feeling's coming from. But again, none of this has been affecting price. Price has actually been going up. So what does all of this mean for this stuff? Well, here's the thing. If you have negative feelings about gold, you're into it, but you think that the price is going to be selling off, you can assume that other people have that same feeling. And like I said, this isn't a contained thing. That sentiment is out there. Well, if everybody feels bearish about gold, but the price is still going up, what do you think will happen when that sentiment flips positive, when everybody feels bullish about gold and they have actual reasons to feel that way, like there's an actual pivot? Well, I don't think that it's a stretch to think that at that point, the price of gold is going to really go up. Now, don't worry, I'm not here to tell you we're on the verge of some kind of moonshot, but we're definitely seeing something we don't normally see, and that's gold price not caring at all about retail sentiment. So I've been well aware of those gold ETF outflows. I've been watching those. I've also been swimming around in this negative sentiment, and that doesn't mean that it's my sentiment. It just means that it's pervasive. It's out there. We see a lot of it. That has given me the sense that we're on the verge of some kind of correction, some kind of price dip, and I've had that feeling since December. But again, it just hasn't happened. So if you put all that together, it's a situation that's really strange because the more probable price movement is the opposite of what our instincts are going to be telling us. So if you take a look at the gold price right now, you're going to see that we're not far from all-time highs. And I just talked to somebody who thinks that we're going to be seeing new all-time highs in the next 90 days. I'll get more on that soon, but it makes a lot of sense. But 90 days would be prior to any kind of May Fed decision. So if you just imagine a case where we're seeing all-time highs prior to actual rate cuts, prior to this big pivot that we've been talking about, And factor in some of the rumors that those rates, even though they might take longer to start, might come on a lot faster than we originally thought. Well, the price of gold could move a lot faster too. 
Now, again, I'm not saying gold's gonna shoot the moon, but where this affects us is in the decision that we're making to buy now or wait. And I'm not smart enough to say go buy a bunch of gold today because it's gonna be more expensive later in the year. I'm also not rushing out to do that myself. I'm just not positive. But based on the overall negative sentiment, at least retail sentiment, and based on my personal thoughts that we should have been seeing some kind of correction, well, normally I wouldn't be buying at these levels, but here we are. We're well above $2,000 an ounce for the price of gold, and I'm not worried about buying it. I think later in the year it is going to be higher, and if we do get a price dip between now and whenever that is, well, it probably won't last long. So don't let any of that sway you. I'm not in any kind of position to give financial advice. I can only tell you what I'm up to, but what I would say is that what I'm up to is different than normal. Normally, I'd be listening to my gut. I'd be on hold given the price proximity to these all-time highs, but I just don't think my gut is right. I'm not holding my breath for a big drop this year like I would normally be doing. I'm just going to keep averaging in. So I think that's good for this one. Let us know if you're buying, if you're waiting, if your gut's telling you one thing, but maybe you're addicted to the game anyway. Can't stop, won't stop. Let us know. And then while you're in the comments, be sure to hit that like button if you found any of this interesting. Be sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on if you'd like to see more on the topic. And if you're still here, thanks again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.